welcome to the podcast series Addressing DMD Time to Diagnosis Through Dialogue and Education with Pediatricians. Today we are talking with Dr. Crystal Proud from Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters. This is Dr. Crystal Proud, and I'd like to share a little about how to ascertain from history that there may be some concern for muscular weakness that uh, could be some presenting symptoms of Duchenne muscular dystrophy. When talking with a family who comes to clinic and they're concerned for the possibility of weakness in their child, I like to explore different aspects of weakness that may show itself in certain activities. One of the first questions that I ask a family is, if you see your child running in a group of children his same age, is he in front of the pack, is he in the middle of the pack, or is he behind the pack? And sometimes I'll start out by asking the boy this, and I'll get their impression, and then I'll look over at parents and see if they are nodding or if they are smiling and saying, no, I don't think he quite has the correct assessment. And this will also allow me to gauge the interpretation of the boy regarding their abilities as well. Most of the time in my boys with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, their parents will tell me or they will tell me that they are typically running a little bit behind the pack. The next item that I ask them about is the ability to go up and down stairs. I start with a simple question. Can you go upstairs? Yes or no? If they say yes, I will ask their parents, do they go up one step at a time or are they able to alternate feet? If they can ascend stairs, traditionally we will see in our patients with DMD that they will go one step at a time. I will next ask the family whether or not their boy demonstrates tripping and falling. This can be a little challenging because if we're dealing with an elementary school aged boy, perhaps there's a certain degree of clumsiness or incoordination that might be acceptable for age. But many times the family will share with me that their child seems to fall more than others their same age. From a historical perspective, I also can ask the family whether or not their child has any difficulties with rising from a seated position on the floor. If we're identifying a boy early enough who has Duchenne muscular dystrophy, the Gower's maneuver may not yet be readily visible, especially to a parent, and so they may not necessarily identify that there is any difficulty with rising from the floor. However, they may identify that their child has difficulty with jumping. Some of these more specific and detailed questions about motor function might not necessarily be prompted unless you have a particular concern about weakness that the family has raised or that you've identified. In order to pre-screen to see if you should be asking more of these detailed questions, it may be helpful just to start with some basic questions of the family. Can your boy jump and can he go up and down the stairs if age appropriate? In the event that they say no or he has difficulty with either of these, then it may be more helpful to go into some of those more detailed questions to get a better assessment of the boy's functioning. In addition, you can use your own clinical assessment of some of these simple actions to determine whether you have any individual clinical concern uh, for possible weakness. It's truly important to pick up on these signs and symptoms early because that will allow for earlier diagnosis, earlier institution of standards of care, as well as the potential for these boys to participate in some revolutionary clinical trials which we hope will be changing the natural history of this disease process. Thank you for listening and make sure you listen to other episodes in the podcast series Addressing DMD Time to Diagnosis Through Dialogue with Education with Pediatricians.